Russian President Vladimir Putin has once again ramped up his nuclear rhetoric, warning that Moscow may revise the criteria for its use of nuclear weapons, even as Ukraine escalates its drone strikes deep inside Russian territory. The latest Ukrainian attacks, including strikes on Russian border regions, have raised fears that Putin might be inching closer to pulling the nuclear trigger, something Kyiv and its Western allies seem willing to risk as the war drags on. Overnight drone attacks on September 25th targeted several Russian regions bordering Ukraine, including Oryol, Belgorod, Kursk, and Bryansk, according to Russian officials. Ukraine has increasingly relied on drone strikes to weaken Moscow's military infrastructure. And while Kyiv often refrains from directly claiming responsibility, these strikes have become part of a broader strategy to wear down Russia's war machine. The drone attacks come on the heels of Putin's ominous warning earlier this week that Moscow could expand the conditions under which it would consider using nuclear weapons. Speaking at a Russian Security Council meeting, Putin suggested that Russia might respond with nuclear force not only to an existential threat, but also to intelligence of a massive launch of missiles or drones crossing its state border. The conditions for Russia's transition to the use of nuclear weapons are also clearly stated. We will consider this possibility upon receiving reliable information about a massive launch of air and space attack weapons and their crossing of our state border. I mean strategic and tactical aircrafts, cruise missiles, drones, hypersonic and other aircraft. The Kremlin has long maintained the option of nuclear retaliation in the face of catastrophic attacks. But Putin's recent comments have sparked renewed speculation that the war in Ukraine could push Russia toward a nuclear escalation. The revised version of the document proposes to consider the aggression against Russia by any non-nuclear state, but with the participation or support of a nuclear state proposed as their joint attack on the Russian Federation. While the statement fell short of declaring an imminent nuclear strike, it underscored how the Kremlin's nuclear doctrine remains fluid, evolving with each new phase of the war in Ukraine. Putin's warnings have often been dismissed as bluster, designed to intimidate Kyiv and its Western backers, but his latest remarks are a stark reminder that the nuclear option remains on the table. Analysts point to Ukraine's continued drone assaults on Russian territory including critical border regions as a direct provocation that may be testing the limits of Moscow's tolerance. By launching these strikes, Kyiv is effectively daring Russia to act on its threats. And yet, despite Putin's warnings, Ukraine shows no signs of backing down. Drone strikes have become a regular part of its military campaign aimed at pushing back Russian forces and destabilizing Russia's military supply chains. The attacks on September 25th saw at least seven drones downed over Russian territory, according to Russia's defense ministry, with no reported damage. Meanwhile, in Kyiv, Ukrainian authorities reported intercepting 10 out of 15 drones that approached the capital overnight with some debris causing damage to residential infrastructure. In this high-stakes game, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky seems to be betting that Putin's threats of nuclear escalation are still just that, threats. While Western analysts have often discounted the likelihood of Russia using nuclear weapons, the risk cannot be entirely dismissed. Putin's recent warnings have introduced a new layer of uncertainty in a war that has already sent shockwaves through global security frameworks.